Hey, we're at it again. Guess where we're at? That look familiar? That lake down there about 325 feet <laughs> down the hill. R look familiar? Yeah, that's right. For y'all that follow along, we are back at Hell's Hill. Please do not tell my wife. I, I She made me promise her I wouldn't go back, but... I've got a business to run. I got customers to keep happy. And I gotta I got to abuse my body every now and then. If you don't abuse your body every now and then, what's good having it, you know? Hell. So we're fixing to get some brand new clamps muddy. Some brand new hose muddy. So this is gonna be fun. We've got a doozy of a day, too. Is that, is that movement shaking? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. We got a hose layout. We got 300 foot of hose. Foster's back. There's Foster. A lot of y'all have asked where Foster's been. I didn't. I didn't get rid of him. He might have wished I had. Strap y'all on. Y'all can hear my breathing better. Uh, we borrowed some hose. I only ordered 350 foot on purpose to keep from doing this kind of crap. But, you know, so I had to borrow some hose from my other, my other guys that I pump with. that has got a pump too. We, we share hose. <laughs> we don't rub hoses. We just, we share hoses. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Since it's down here, we'll just carry two at a time. Uphill, I, won't, I, won't, I wouldn't do this at going uphill, but I'll do it going downhill. So, we've got about 40 yards here on this particular job. And then we're going to go about a quarter mile down the, down the road and lay out another 250, 275 foot hose on a, another job. So... Not only, come on, unhook, unhook. Oh, no. This sucks. Look. New, new hose sucks. There's no grout around the, around the collars and every bit of it hangs up on rebar if it catches just right. So yeah, we get done with this one. We're going right up the road and doing another one. So a little better circumstances though. It's not all that hot. It's about 67 degrees right now. It's gonna get about 75. So a lot better circumstances anyway. As far as that goes, still the physical labor. I'm out of breath. I'm completely out of breath. This is one of them deals. You gotta reach down deep inside and lock the hubs in. Get over the middle challenge. We come, we come up that the other day on Muddy Feet TV. I was loading a deer stand by myself the other day and I had to give myself a motivational speech. So y'all ought to check that out on Muddy Feet TV. We've been having a good time over there. Uh, I, I tell you, y'all need to go over and check it out. We've, we've had the bulldozers out. We've had the concrete pump out. I'm building a barn dominium over there. And I'm gonna build it from the top up. So I'm fixing to start the steel work on it, but you can see some of the work on the slab. And we've caught some fish, quite a bit of crappie fishing. So uh, I'm only posting a lot more over there, especially on Sundays. I'm probably not gonna post as many videos on Sundays on the concrete pumping. I may post one every now and then, but definitely Sunday mornings I'm gonna be, doing the Muddy Feet TV. 
that's gonna be our new Sunday morning show. So y'all, morning Oscar. Y'all come over and drink a cup of coffee with me. We'll visit in the we'll visit in the comments. Foster, we're gonna need that other one. On Sunday morning, so y'all check us out. I'll leave a link in there for y'all. It is juicy right here. All right, we did a little house cleaning. I put a new pressure gauge on. Foster did a little bit of air chiseling back here and getting this a little better. It's still gonna probably gonna need just a little bit of acid wash. So I've got, I'm finding little things that those guys tore up. Like the boots around my agitator. And some little bit of other things. So I gotta get back with the insurance company on that. So, I don't know, I may just pay out of my pocket, hell. I don't know, we'll see. But, we're ready. My plan is like last time, we, we did one of these long ones. I'm gonna put, we'll mix two of them up. Put two in, in here, and I'll mix one up, and when the mud comes in, I'll start filling in the hopper. And we're gonna run three bags down that hill. Put us about five in there. Five? Yeah. place to plug was halfway there I wasn't expecting that it ought to be about halfway down yeah I, I was about to almost 20 count so it should be about halfway a little more than halfway down You go reverse the pump, Foster. What sucks about this is we're going down hills. So when I hook it, mm -hmm. it's gonna run around and run more down. Reverse it some more. Reverse it. Still feels like it's got a little pressure on it.
All right, Oscar, we're gonna do this quick. Hold on. You think so? Hey, I got you. Okay, yeah. This is so much better in the fall. It's sure wish we had another truck here. We're gonna need it pretty soon. Cut it close. Luckily, like I said, we're just going a quarter mile down the road, but we gotta get, gotta get there. We gotta be able to get there. It don't matter how many miles it is or how close it is. This next customer, he's bringing awful sharp on his times, and I just, you know, you're the second job. I'm at the mercy of everybody else's. So, concrete shows up an hour late. Guess what? Maybe an hour late. But. Truck number two down. Hey, I got a new buddy that uh, I met at the little utilities expo, and we've hecky. He, he's got some good videos, and he's been leaving comments on mine, and I really appreciate that. I want to shout out to Mike with Dirt Boss. He's up in up in New York. I don't know if you call it upstate New York or not. Uh, I think he's around Albany. New York is where he's around, but uh, got some good videos. I was watching him the other day on the side of this daggum mountain with his uh, excavator, and I tell you, I, he had to have balls of steel to take that excavator off the side of that hill like he did. That was nuts. But y'all go over and check out Dirt Boss. Tell him I said hi. Uh, I greatly appreciate it, and put put a smile on his face. And uh, you'll 
you'll enjoy some of his stuff. He's got some concrete pouring. I, I kind of encouraged him when I talked to him about pouring concrete. And maybe we can get me up there to help to pour a slab with him up there to up there in New York. I've I've never been to New New York City. I've never been to New York. It's not New York City either, but the state. But I like to go up there and go help him on a job. Go pour some concrete or something. So maybe we can get something going up there. I can only get phone service up at the road back up here. I can't get it down here and I had to get some stuff back there. Let's see how far we got. What does it look like? Get it out of here. Let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. He said he's gonna cut the stakes off the back of the truck right here. Okay. Yeah, you have enough to get down there to like drag it down the hill. Or? Yeah, we just put 300. I had 325. We only put 300 on. It's about 12 foot short, but it's yeah, down there. Job number two off the side of Hell's Hill. One more hose down. We'll have 250 down on this one. So we laid 300 out on the first one, laying 250 off side of the hills. And we so I just don't know what got erased with the repair file because I did it the other day. And I got a bunch of, I got my hog trap hogs erased. All the good shit. So I don't know what I just lost. Another three batteries and a charger that I just started this morning. Off brand or GoPro? Yeah. GoPro. What GoPro is? I'm, I need to buy you, just buy you another camera and send these sevens back. See if they can repair them or fix them. Hopefully, I didn't lose anything too terrible. No telling. Nothing, nothing bad's happened, so you didn't miss any trauma or drama. Whatever you want, whatever you want. I don't want either one of them trauma or drama but we are still on the side of hell's hill on job number two today excuse me fellas yeah this is a this is a dandy one Not only did they want lakefront, they wanted their pool up, front, up on the lake too, in a house. This is nuts. Got money, we'll pay. I don't have an idea. I don't have a clue. I don't even know what, I don't even know what to tell y'all what all this is. But dang sure, nine or ten foot deep on this end. 
comes up to about four and a half over there. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna take these hose this board because I got some fragile stuff in there. <clears throat> but I've got to hold true to my statements. I've mouthed off some pretty, pretty heavy statements and this is this goes along with it, so I guess I'm paying for my raising. I've, I've told people happily that we can put concrete where you can only imagine. Well, that's exactly what's happening today. Mm -hmm. If I told you or not, this collar suck. Let go, rebar. Hanging up some of the bucks. Nothing steps. Cantilevered. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> like that. That took some talent, didn't it? Really didn't trust that, but I did. But I did. So back up the hill. All right. Our plan is to make it easy on the truck driver because there's a pretty stiff grade up there at the top. Let him pull down to right here. And then we'll, we'll back up to him. I'm gonna pull up the road and just kind of get off, kick off the side over here. What do you think? Solid plan? If it was me, if I'd want to back down here and drive, <laughs> drive in and back out. Well, worst case, hey, back, back right up in here, maybe. Maybe. Hey, Mike could back up. I don't know. Come on, I know y'all want to talk about it. How about, oh, my gosh, you need them six by six Oshkosh trucks. That'd secure everything. That's, that's the cure-all for getting trucks stuck. Well, can, we, can we get one of them here faster? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen a couple of videos here lately where they've had the six by six Oshkosh is stuck. <laughs> so, I know they're not bulletproof. They're not army tanks. Whatever it is, the customers are going to push it to the limit. Oh. That's, I mean, whatever <laughs> piece of equipment you have, somebody somewhere is going to find a way. Oh, that's, to we bought that. We forever we we punched with a thirty-three meter and a thirty-seven meter, forever, and we got some big shit done. And I thought, well, I'll buy a forty meter and a thirty-eight meter, and we'll be way over over pumped. Yeah, and now we're short. On now we're short. Other job. Now, now we're short all the time again. So, yeah, Bill's exactly right. They're, they're going to push whatever you have to the maximum limit. Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da, do da, hope to get away with it. Oh, do da, 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 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah.
I need to go watch him foster pull up a little more. And I'll back up. We got a back down there to him. We'll do that. about that I had some intense moments and honestly i just i forgot to start filming we we blew out but we got blown out we're gonna go up and wash the pump out and get out of the way kind of worrying me now they're standing around like the trucks having a hard time getting he getting having a hard time huh Just take him on back. He needs to go that away. Well, but he can't turn his tires on these rocks over here. What is that? There you go. That, that rock right there was getting him. He just locked them all in. That's what he had to do. Good boy. Yeah, that big rock right there kept hanging him. In. Yeah, that rock right there kept Double hump back, getting him. <laughs> nearly, nearly he used a duck quack. <laughs> I 